Hey everyone, on today's Inside the Edit series, I'm gonna talk about Brittany and Nate's wedding at the Treasury on the Plaza in St. Augustine. This place is absolutely beautiful. I was excited when I was told about this place, that she would be there, this is where she was getting married. Uh, one, because I've never been there before, and secondly, I've seen pictures and video of this place, and seeing pictures and <laughs> seeing video just doesn't do it justice. I mean, you have to actually be there to see how beautiful this place is, this venue is. It's right in the heart of downtown St. Augustine. Absolutely gorgeous. I had a great time uh, being there, being there throughout their day and, and filming everything and just honored to be a part of, uh, of their wedding. And I hope by now that you've seen the outcome of their wedding. And if not, I'll, uh, I'll have a link to, to their video in here. So I pulled up that morning. As I've said before, I always get there several hours before the photographer gets there being able to get what I want to get, when I want to get, uh, how I want to get it, everything that I need to get before they arrive, uh, they meaning the photographers, because sometimes when they get there, things, as I've said before, get a little chaotic. So it allows me to get everything that I want to get and need to get, and then by the time that they get there, I can just shadow them if I, if I need to or want to uh, at that point. So I arrived in St. Augustine, was excited to get going, it was about 10, 10, 30-ish, I think it was, and hopped out of the car and called up Brittany and said, hey, I'm here, I'm excited to get going, is everything okay? And then on the other end of the phone, uh, all I heard was, no, things are not okay. And of course, I'm thinking, you know, all kinds of thoughts are going through my head at that point. I didn't know if somebody changed their mind, if something happened, you know, all kinds of thoughts start, start going in, start going through my head. And what ended up happening, she told me, was the groom and his groomsmen were in a major car accident the night before. And even in that morning, there were still uh, multiple groomsmen in the hospital. So you can imagine the awkwardness that I felt uh, hearing that, uh, even being there. Uh, it, it just felt weird, you know, kind of, I'm there with a bunch of cameras and I walk in and, um, you know, but as any professional would, you've got to keep going on. Uh, you know, she said the same thing. Bridesma bridesmaids said the th same thing that were there. Uh, her, her, her mom, you know, it's just one of those things where you just got to keep rolling. This is the wedding day. We got to keep moving. So anyway, that's what we did. And, uh, you know, we got kind of past the, uh, I don't want to say tension, but the awkwardness in the room. And uh, I just, you know, began to interact with everybody. Uh, get some great footage as you're seeing now um, We just continued on the day the best we could and uh, got some great uh, prep footage um, She was actually at the collectors Inn, and it is a, a Place that's that's right down the street a little bit from the Treasury beautiful uh, walked in there they've got they've got rooms and things all throughout that place and so some people were over in this room and some people were over in this room getting ready. Um, the guys had rooms upstairs, if I remember correctly. And so I was just going back and forth and getting everybody that I could. Uh, again, keeping in mind what had transpired and trying to be respectful of that as well, but at least trying to trying to make sure I can get what I, what I can get. So I got prep, prep footage there at that point. And then we proceeded over to the treasury uh, later on. And I got some more footage there of Brittany and her girls getting ready in the room. Uh, like you're watching now had some great times there with them uh, Brittany getting dressed uh, them having toast with each other and, and just just having a great time and uh, like I said got some great footage there we moved into the ceremony at that point and again like I said <laughs> this venue is one of those places where you've just got to see it you got to be there uh, they've got their own lighting system up up high uh, everything from spotlights to floodlights to you name it and uh, so it's it's very easy and, and a great place for any photographer and videographer to work uh, to get some great footage and and that's what I did so got the ceremony captured had a great time there and then of course we moved into the reception or <laughs> there are a lot of fun moments that happened there um, the introductions the speeches by her dad and and other people that spoke and just, you know, just had a great time. Uh, after the ceremony, kind of jumping back a little bit. After the ceremony, we hopped across the street to the big, uh, there's a big open area there, so it's not 
it's not open per se, but it's just, again, it's right in downtown St. Augustine. There's a lot of the bridal photos there that you're seeing now. Uh, video with the family, video with the bridesmaids and bridal party. Got some great footage of, of those guys uh, having fun uh, and, and, and you know having a great time with each other. And so we, we did a lot there and then moved back in. And of course, that's when the reception started. So captured the first dances, captured the speeches. And of course, they had a beautiful uh, final dance at the end where uh, the treasury kicked everybody out basically and said, get out, go get your sparklers because <laughs> the bride and groom are going to do a final dance. And that's what they did. And it's it, the whole day was just, it was great. I mean, it was, like I said, it was a little awkward being there in light of that happening. That's, that's something that I've never been a part of. And I, I did my best and worked through it. I think everybody did. And there was a groomsman and his significant other, I can't remember if it was what, if, if it was his wife or not. Uh, they showed up later, and I got some got some photos and stuff of them. And but you know, we just you just continue on the best you can. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, there was one groomsman, no two, I think, uh, two groomsmen and one bridesmaids that 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 weren't there. But you know, like I said, either way, you've got to keep going. We kept going. We had a great time. And uh, I was just, again, honored to be a part of this. I had a great time, got some great footage, and <laughs> just moved around with my cameras and, and everything else that, that I used to capture you know, her wedding day. Um, people like to know what lenses and things that I work with, so I'll be happy to go over that. Uh, most of my prep footage is shot with the Canon 51.2. I am a Canon guy. Uh, so when it comes to the ceremony, when it comes to the prep footage, uh, most of the day I'm on the cannons. I, I love the cannons rich color and I've got multiple bodies. I've got four actually and then when it comes to the ceremony I move into a hybrid situation which I've I think I've talked about this in previous blogs where I whip out my Sony's as well and I've got one Sony that stays on a gimbal. I've got another one that I use as well and I just kind of intermix the two and uh, you know bring all that together in, in post-production. Um, so 51 twos on the prep on the ceremonies I use at least two 7200s on the sides I sometimes have one in the middle or it'll either be a 2470 or sometimes a 1740 or something to get that that wide angle and then there are times depending on how the ceremony is set up and where I'm at and if I can move around like if it's outside or something then that's where the other camera will come in I'll put that on a gimbal and I'll kind of move around and walk around so uh, didn't didn't do that here um, because there wasn't a whole lot of space to do that and I didn't want to be a distraction either inside the Treasury uh, so two 7200s and a 2470 in the back and then at the reception is when the gimbal came out a lot and uh, I was on that guy most of the time so uh, during actually during the dances what I also do is there's always usually two angles uh, actually there's two angles during the speech the dances and the cake cutting. Uh, one of those angles is a 7200 zoomed in tight. The other angle is a 2470 with a much wider shot. And that way I can go back and forth uh, during post and, and make sure that that looks nice. I try to utilize that with cake cutting as well. Sometimes I can't always get, depending on how small or if the venue is small, uh, I can't get two angles. So I'll usually opt for the 2470 and run with that one. But if there's room enough, then I'll get two angles with those same two lenses as well so um, and then of course I'm utilizing road microphones on the on the Canon cameras as well as uh, task cams um, for the audio uh, both lab mics and and tapped into a sound system I used to use the Sennheisers in the past and I've just found I've, I've ran into too many I don't want to say a whole lot of issues, but I would get I would get a drop or, or a blip of wireless interference, or this or that would drop or or something like that. Um, you know, during the ceremony, a lot of DJs will still do that. Uh, they will bring their their Sennheiser. Uh, even even the officiant that did this wedding, <laughs> I came up to him and and went to mic him up, and he's like, "I'm already mic'd up," and I, I said, "No, I know, but I'm going to mic you up again because I need to make sure that I get the best audio I can." And I don't have any problems. I said, I know they're using their system, 
but I want to use this. I want to use mine and make sure I get the cleanest audio possible. And, and you know, of course, he's looking at me, and I said, they're using wireless. I'm not. And I said, just trust me. I know you got two on there. It'll feel weird, but just, just roll with it. <laughs> and he was cool about it. So um, used to use Sennheiser's a lot in the past, but I just I've moved away from them, and that's why I've got multiple Tascam DL10s that I use now for the weddings. So anyway, like I said, I had a great time. This place was absolutely beautiful. And if you had not seen the final um, footage from this wedding, I'll include it in the, in the link below. Uh, make sure you check out that wedding. Had a great time. Got some great audio from everybody. And we did the best we could in light of what was going on. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Uh, shoot me an email, reply to this, this, uh, this post here, and I'll answer it the best I can. I'm always trying to keep in mind, um, you know, I haven't learned everything that, that I want to learn, but I try to keep in mind if I was, you know, put myself in somebody else's shoes when I was way back, way back there, so to speak, and I was always wondering, okay, what are, what are they using? What are they using for audio? What lenses are they using? Da, 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 da. And I'll be, anybody who knows me, I am more than happy to talk about that with you guys. I have no problem with that. Um, I'm not some control nut or somebody who hoards information, I'm, I'm willing to talk about it and share it. Uh, you know, like for instance, I know uh, many of my colleagues and friends, they don't use Canon, they use, you know, GH5s or they use Sony's or they use something else and, and that's fine. Um, my preference is the Canon's and then when I move into the reception time, then I switch to the Sony AS2's that I have, A7S2's is what I've got. So um, anyway, just a preference and uh, everybody's got their own style, their own thing and their own way of doing things and that, is mine so <laughs> um, anyway I'm, I'm looking at the footage here on my Mac as I'm, as I'm talking to you so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog if there's anything else I can answer let me know I'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit and talk about weddings sometimes talk about uh, portrait sessions sometimes I'm gonna actually go behind the scenes and show you some things I do inside Premiere and even After Effects and some of the effects that I'm gonna do um, for some videos coming up here I've got some promos that I'm working on I've got the voiceover tracks back in or back to me so I'll go over that coming up here but just a lot of stuff coming down the pipe I just haven't had a whole lot of time to sit down recently but hopefully I'm gonna get some time coming up here to do that and, some, and to produce more of these so um, anyway hope you guys enjoy that uh, keep watch keep watching the nerd here <laughs> and I'll keep pumping these out I've got a wedding show coming up in July I've got a few more weddings actually several more weddings coming up here in a few weeks and um, I'll be, up a, I'll be at a couple of my favorite venues coming up here again. And so I will keep you guys posted on that. And uh, I'm going to try to do my best to start vlogging throughout those, those times, those weddings. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next vlog.